This is a short movie about the use of insert brushes. I have been using them for a long while. Most people have, uh, but I actually have forgotten about their functionality and that's why I'm recording this video. So I have the insert cube brush selected. When I click and draw on the geometry, that is what I get. When I'm still holding the pen on the tablet, when I go the other side, now the cube will be scaled on a certain axis. So when I go to solo, you see that it's very flat. That is something we all or you all know. Control Z to undo. But what you can also do, so when I draw it out, scale it down on that axis. When I want to go back to the original form, so the cube form, I can press the control key. So when I press control, you see that it jumps back to a cube. So, and then of course I can scale it on that axis again, but with control, it jumps back. And I can continue drawing it out. With out shift, you can rotate it around, but when you hold the shift key, you can't. So you can only scale it down on the axis or scale it up but you can rotate it around. So I'm holding the shift key while doing this. When you release the shift key, then of course you can continue to rotate. And when I want to go back to my cube, I can again press the control key. So you see it has gone back to the cube. And when I press control again, and now let go of the pin, you see that when you press control, and sometimes you have to do it twice, then the size of the cube is the brush size. So you see the brush size, size of the cube with the sphere, it's more visible. So I'm going to choose insert sphere, go all the way to that size. Now press control and let go of the pen and you see that the sphere has the size of the brush. And to prove it, I mean, I'm going to make my brush size a lot bigger, draw it out again press control, you see now it has that size, control Z. And another interesting thing about insert brushes is the space bar. So when I draw it out, now when I hold the space bar, now I can move the insert mesh around. When I let go of space bar, I continue to enlarge. When I go to the other side, Again, I'm scaling on the axis, press the control key, I'm going back to my original form. And I can also press the alt key, and with alt key, I can scale on that axis, on, on a certain axis. So now I'm scaling with alt. When I let go of alt, that is the result. And to go back to my sphere form, I press the control key and I'm going back to my sphere and I can keep con keep continuing or can continue to draw it out. So all the while I'm drawing and not letting go from the pen from the tablet. So control to go back, control again, let go and it didn't work this time for the brush size but anyway. so. When you draw it out, control, let go, and it has the brush size. And the last thing that is very interesting with insert meshes, so when you go to the brush palette, and I have that open in the left tray, to modifiers, then you have projection strength. If you set that to a higher value than zero, for instance to 100, then the geometry will be projected on the underlying geometry. So you see, when I go to solo mode, the sphere has kind of been distorted because of projection strength. So control Z, if you get something weird like that, you might want to check your projection strength for that brush. So control Z, just like that. So draw it out, make it bigger, hold shift, it snaps, you can can't rotate it around anymore, but you can't scale it on that axis. Control, 
press control key it goes back to the sphere form press the alt key then you can scale it out control and and i did let go so i have to start again and spacebar then you can move it around So insert brushes, very useful, and I had forgotten about all that functionality, so that was the purpose of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.